Hey guys, it's Josh Chamberlain from Chamberlain Antiques, and I was asked to do a video on what to look for when trying to identify whether or not a piece of Chinese porcelain is an authentic antique or a brand new fake. Now, if I was going to talk about all the things I look for, it would go on for hours. So what we're going to do is create a series of videos with each video just covering a couple things that you can look for at home to help identify whether or not your piece of Chinese porcelain is an authentic antique or a brand new fake. The first thing we're going to look at is one of the most common tricks being used by forgers in China. And that's the application of a brown wash or paint being applied to the foot rim to give the appearance of dirt and grime that would accumulate on a genuine antique over hundreds of years. So here we're looking at the underside of a brand new copy. As you can see, the foot rim has a brownish appearance due to the stain that they applied. What you want to look for, though, is areas where the stain has almost spilled over onto the glaze. You can see it here on the top edge and you can see it here on the inside of the foot room. To be certain that it actually is an applied stain and not just dirt, we can try wiping it off with a damp cloth. So if we take our damp cloth and give a good scrub right where the brown is on the outside of the foot as well as to the foot room, you can see it doesn't even touch it. Now if this was actually dirt and not a stain, it would come right off. So just for a comparison, I have an authentic piece of Chinese porcelain dating to the Qing Dynasty. And as you can see, there's some browning and darkening around the foot rim here, which is legitimate dirt and grime that has accumulated. If you take just a damp cloth and give it a rub, you can see that any dirt or grime that has accumulated on that paste will come right off, re revealing the white paste underneath. One important thing to keep in mind though is some early Chinese porcelains actually did have a brown dressing applied to the foot rim, but you'll never see this spill over to the glaze. And that's why it's important to use multiple tests in determining whether or not your piece is a genuine antique or a brand new copy. So that leads us to our next segment where we look at wear around the outside of the glaze as well as to the underside. So generally speaking, an authentic piece of antique Chinese porcelain will have some level of wear around the exterior. And the first place we're going to check out is the underside. So the example we're going to use is this Hu form vase with a flambe glaze. It has an apocryphal or dubious Qinlung seal to the underside. And I'm going to show you what about the foot rim is wrong and tells us it's a brand new copy. All right, so let's take a close look at the underside of this vase. We can see it does have some wear in the foot rim, but this was done intentionally and is not natural wear. The reason we know this is if you look closely here, there's a bunch of deep gouges into the foot. Unless this vase was dragged over a rock, you wouldn't have deep cuts into the foot rim. You would want to see a natural occurring ring of wear where the vase would have rested over hundreds of years. The other thing to take note of is if you look closely, all the scrapes are going in the same direction. So again, unless this vase was a one-way vase and only moved in one direction for its entire life, you shouldn't see all the markings going in a certain pattern. This is the foot rim of an 18th century vase. And as you can see, there's just a gentle ring of wear around the base of the foot rim, which has occurred naturally over time. So the other area to examine the wear on a piece of porcelain is the glaze around the body. Now you need to think of this logically. What areas of a piece of porcelain would scratching and scuffing occur? Obviously on a vase of this form, you would think around the outermost edge or possibly the outside of the rim. So let's take a look at this vase up close and see what the wear patterns look like. So looking at this modern copy here, I want you to take note of the wear you see around the outside of the body. This is something that you will commonly see on modern copies where the wear pattern is almost uniform around the entire piece. Now as I mentioned, this is not how natural wear will occur you will see concentrations of it at the outermost parts of the vase where it naturally bump into something or get rubbed up against something over time. So again, there are a lot of things to look at when examining a piece of Chinese porcelain, but hopefully these couple tips will head you down the right direction in determining whether or not the piece you have at home is a genuine antique 
or a brand new copy. Be on the lookout for our next video where we'll look at more tips on how to spot fake Chinese porcelain. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.